What the actual hell, Brandon? Molly or what? Jesus Christ, what the hell was that for? Don't act like you don't know. I don't. Her. Elsa? I don't even- You have some nerve lying to my face. You're making a scene. That's the whole point, sweetie. I wanted everyone to know that you're just another lying cheater. You- Swearing? Really? That's another thing. You sound like a 13-year-old boy. God, you're so- Ugh. Whatever. Elsa's a better kisser than you'll ever be. Are you sure I'm the bad kisser? Elsa, get your tail over here. Hmm? What's his problem? Let's go see. Yes? Will you be my girlfriend? Um, of course. I knew you'd say yes. So happy that you two attention-seeking female dogs finally found each other. You really deserve each other, you know? I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Too bad there isn't a big strong man around here to do that. Okay, that's- Brandon, calm down. She's not worth it. You're right. She's just desperate to stay relevant. Let's go. It was all fun and games until Barbie and Ken got divorced. And for once, you weren't the homewrecker. You better keep a close eye on your man then. Don't worry too much. You'll have a line of guys waiting to date you. You'll find someone. And you were really only dating Brandon to make Elsa jealous, right? Yeah, well, we both see how that worked out. You did call him a 13-year-old boy, Malia. It's true, though. That man can't swear for sh- Okay, okay, we get it. I still don't get why you put so much energy into screwing Elsa over, though. And everyone she loves. I don't. Uh-huh. She's just a spoiled brat that gets whatever she wants. So are we. Yeah, but we aren't treated like untouchable royalty. I mean, sure, pets love her, but- Avery, turn around. You're so, no, you're so, so amazing. amazing. The universe really likes to make me look bad, huh? It appears so. <sighs> Get out of my way! Bye, Elsa. That goes for you guys, too. Oh, uh, bye, Elsa. See you in physics. Bye. Ugh, why do you even put up with those guys? They're so beneath you. Oh, well, I think they're interesting. By interesting, do you mean hella annoying? If you try talking to them, maybe- God, no. I'm far above them, and so are you, so start acting like it. Whatever. Especially that Jason guy. You know he's like- Gay, right? Yeah? Then how could you still talk to him? He's absolutely disgusting. You better be careful if Brandon's around him. He might try Enough, and- Enough, Ellie. I'm tired. Well, I'm tired of you always throwing away your social status like it's nothing. One of these days- I've gotta get to class. Ugh, she's so rude. So, basically, you want to ruin her life for no real reason? Exact- wait, no, were you even listening to your way over-dramatized monologue? Not really. Ugh, why am I even friends with you? Probably because you have abandonment issues even though you're constantly self-sabotaging and- Okay, okay, I get it. I have some issues. You probably need a therapist, but instead you've got a best friend who's easily bribed by a good smoothie. I love you. I know. But will you help me or not? Oh, uh, what's the plan again? I'll just take it again from the top. How about the spark note summary? Avery! Elsa has been treated like an angel since we were little. Like, I get she's kind, generous, and like, really pretty, but I don't see why she should be treated like a Greek goddess. I mean, yeah, pets kind of put her on a pedestal, but why do you even care so much? You left her, remember? I know, but that was a long time ago. She probably barely even remembers those times anyways. We need to focus on putting her in her place. Fine, fine. So what's the overcomplicated plot? It's fairly simple, actually. Oh, do share. Well... Well, look who it is. It's the boyfriend stealer. Look, Malia, I didn't know that he was with you, and if I had- Cut the Miss Perfect act for one second. You and me both know that you at least had the tiniest, minuscule thought that Brandon was probably with somebody, and you 
do? What? Of course not. But that's okay. I know he'll come back to me. You don't own him. I don't, but no one stays with you. I sure as hell didn't. What do you really want, Malia? Oh, I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder to spend your time with him wisely. Because we both know you don't have much time left now that the excitement of cheating is gone. Screw off, Malia. We all know it's true, but I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. She didn't get in your head, did she? No. I learned a long time ago not to let Malia get the best of me. Good. Wanna walk to class together? Sure. I knew I should have been meaner. Yeah, but you're always soft whenever it comes to Elsa. I am not! You are. I can make her cry harder than when her pet cricket died if I wanted to. But you don't. Because I don't want to. High school rivalries don't make any sense. Let's just go to class. And neither do you. I don't know. Maybe Malia was right. Mmm, okay. Brandon was just so ready to leave her. What's stopping him from doing the same to me? One second, Elsa. I gotta go do something real quick. Oh, okay. We're still on for lunch though, right? Yeah, yeah. Bye. I need a new plan. You're just being impatient. Well, at this pace, you won't break up with her until summer. So what's even the point? You sound like a five-year-old trying to justify getting a piece of cake for supper. Why do I even bother with you? What is that feline up to? Huh? Elsa, over here! <laughs> Ellie! Not so perfect anymore, are we? Now everyone can see you for the annoying fat pig that you are. But... What? You thought we were friends? <laughs> How could I ever be friends with someone like you? Oh, and one more thing. <sighs> I need to- Oh, just go, Malia. You're such a terrible liar anyways. For the record, I'm a great liar. Where do you think you're going? Going to the bathroom? I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. And why not? We both know you're going to talk Elsa into joining your little group because she's vulnerable right now. Wow, you really are that obsessed with her, huh? Don't you dare try to spin- You know, Ellie, not every little thing is some master plan to take you down. In fact, I don't even consider you a threat. What? At least Elsa had that timeless beauty to her. But you, you're just as fake as your nails. I'll show you what fake nails are! I really hope that my eyes aren't still puffy. Elsa, oh my god, have you been crying? Jaden, no, it's just allergies. I wasn't asking, I saw what Ellie did. Oh. Anyways, I wanted to come and check on you. Are you doing okay? But I know it's a little weird since we aren't close, but I just... I feel like everyone only wants me for a little while and then tosses me once they're bored of me. And, and it just really sucks because I still love and care about them, but no one as kind and loving as you are deserves that. You deserve people who will stick up for you. Like Malia. What? Malia hates me. Well, I'm pretty sure she just got her eye clawed out by Ellie because she told her off. But they fight all the time. She was trying to come see you, Elsa. I don't think she hates you as much as you think she does. Maybe... Or maybe this is just another one of her games. I don't know, but I should get going to class. Are you feeling any better? A bit. Thanks, Jaden. No problem, and you can always just call me Jay. Okay. Jay. See you around, Elsa. He's kinda cute. You know he's gay, right? Yeah, but- Wait, Avery? Yeah, whether she'll admit it or not, Malia is probably wondering how you're doing, so I thought I'd check up on you for her. Oh, um, how is Malia? She'll live, but if you want to see her yourself, you could always come with me. I'm about to go see her. No, no, that's alright. I don't want to overstep. I know it isn't my place to speak for Malia, but she really does regret leaving you, Elsa, and she still thinks about it. 
a lot. I didn't know that. Anyways, I'm gonna get going before this starts getting awkward. Oh, okay then, uh, bye. See you at the next Mean Girl Showdown. Ugh, I wish this would heal up already. Oh my god, did you lose an eye? You should have seen the other girl. So does this mean you're like half blind now? Oh my god, does this mean you're gonna get a seen eye cricket? If you do, can I please help? Hey, I'm fine. My eye will be better by the end of the weekend. So fast? That's what the nurse said. She barely even scratched my actual eye, so... Well, you don't have to worry. I'm here to take care of you. Please don't. You're clumsy enough for the both of us. Well, fine. Then we can always just talk. Sounds even worse. You sure are grumpy. Boy trouble? Peyton. Girl trouble? Friend problems. But you only have one friend. Not her. Elsa. Wait, the little brunette girl? She's not so little anymore, but yeah. I've been thinking about how much I screwed her over recently, and how things would have been different if I just... But didn't you leave her because- I was wrong, okay? Were you though? I'm sure you've all been looking forward to today. It's partner project day! I feel like every time I actually come to this class, I hate it more and more. You're literally just asking for a detention at this point. Whatever, I don't even care. But then what would happen to all your big master plans? They need some revisions anyways. Alrighty then, everyone pick your partners and get to work! Partners? Oh, what's that? You need a partner, Sabrina? <laughs> no problem. Molly, I was actually gonna work with Elsa. What? Have fun! Traitor. Do you want to be partners? I don't really have any other choice. Right. How about I do the causes and you can do the impacts that the event had on society? Yeah, that works. So should we meet after school or- This way we don't need to meet up because we've divided up the project. Oh. Malia, see you next class. What kind of crap is this? Malia, so glad you decided to join us. Yeah, Avery, what's with the change of scenery? Well, I saw Elsa here sitting all alone, and I was getting kind of bored of your company. It's not my fault that you have terrible taste in friends. Don't mind her, she just doesn't like change very much. I'll just go and sit somewhere else then. Okay, what is your deal with her? What do you mean? One minute you're obsessed with ruining her life, and now she's at rock bottom and you don't even care. Not to mention, you tried to help her. I'm not hungry. I'm gonna go study. Why don't you ever tell me how you're truly feeling? Because it's none of your business. Stay in your lane, Avery. Well, at least this way I can get a head start on the project. You've gotta be kidding me. Malia! That's what it says on my birth certificate. Can we talk? Depends. I just want to know where I stand with you. One minute you hate me and are always plotting my downfall, and the next you get scratched in the eye for me. Talk about mixed signals. I don't hate you. I'm sorry, okay? Leaving you the way I did was messed up, but it was for the best. What did I do? It wasn't you, it was me. So please stop pushing. Sorry. God, just stop always being Miss Perfect. You know, I could just never stand when you acted like a total doormat. I only let the pets I care about push me around. <sighs> so, do you want to work on the project or not? Um, that's what you were doing, right? Yeah, but I thought- So, what have you all done for research? Well, I did find this really interesting article about how communities are still celebrating histories today with all sorts of different festivals. Current connection. That's pretty good. What about you? I haven't started. I've been a bit busy sending mixed signals and all that. Oh yeah, I got those. They take quite a while to figure out, you know. Hmm, I didn't know that. Maybe I should work on being more straightforward with my intentions. You should try that right now. Right now? Right here? I don't know if the ambiance feels quite right. Malia! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I guess I just forgot how much I enjoyed your company. 
and I was worried it wouldn't be the same. What? I thought you might still be mad at me for what happened when we were younger. I mean, it hurt a lot, but I'd be willing to call a truce if it means you'd stop acting so weird around me. That's fair. So, truce then? Friends. Okay. So, we're still going to the mall this weekend, right? Of course. I'm in desperate need of a style revamp. You say that, but you always still buy the same stuff, just in a different color. It's progress. Sure. Uh... Hey guys, Elsa, perfect timing. What are you doing on Saturday at about 2ish? AM or PM? PM, but what are you doing at 2 AM? Oh, I'm sleeping, but I didn't know if you wanted to like sneak out or something. You need to realize that Avery's pretty boring. Maybe that's just what I want you to think, but I'm actually the most interesting person you'll ever know. <laughs> Anyways, so, oh, Malia, I never thought I'd see you stoop to such levels. I don't know what you mean. Last time I checked, you were the one who was still dating Brandon. Yeah, but- I know you're just like his little pet, right? At least I used our breakup to boost my social status. But you, you're just like another one of his little abandoned kittens. Huh? Great going, Malia. Crap. <laughs> Oh, I always knew she was way too sensitive to be popular. Poor girl actually thought that he loved her. She deserves someone who loves her. Like you could ever be that for her. You're a terrible friend, and you know that. The only reason Avery's still around is because she pities you. That's really funny, coming from the girl who just backstabbed her only friend. Yeah, well, at least I still have my boyfriend. But you? You're just standing here all alone in high school hallway. You're pathetic. No one even sees you as a threat anymore after you took Elsa into your group. So, I guess that makes me the winner, doesn't it? You're not worth my time. That was a bit unexpected. What were you thinking saying that when Elsa was standing right there? Why are you even friends with me? Jesus, Malia. This is about Elsa, not you. I thought you actually wanted to be a decent friend to her. I'm not a good friend, Avery. Not to anyone. Okay, seriously, what is going on with you? Did you let Ellie get under your skin or something? I'm gonna go find Elsa to apologize. I don't think that's the best... idea. Finally. Three blocks down, one to go. Malia? What are you doing in here? Um... It doesn't matter. I was just leaving anyways. How long have you been in here? That's none of your business. You don't even know me. That's true, but I saw your friends looking for you. What? Do you want to scoop for the gossip column or something? No, no, I'm not like that. You just seem like you needed someone to talk to. Sorry, I don't just spill my life story to every pet I meet. Now, if you don't mind- You like Elsa, don't you? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, I get it, that's- I- I- I'm not- I'm not like you. S so just stop. Be because I'm- I'm not. You're not any less of a pet if you are. I- I just don't want to screw things up again. But- But every time I see her, I just- I left her! Because of how you felt about her? Do you still- Definitely not. That was a long time ago. I'm guessing Avery doesn't know then. What? That you're queer. Only my family knows. I honestly don't even think that she'd care, but she's all I have. I can't risk losing her. Well, you have me now, too. I don't even know your name, though. Seriously? You don't even remember me? Should I? It's Jaden. Or Jay. Oh my god. You were there. I don't want to be friends anymore. What? You're so lame. I want friends who are cool. But Molly, we- And stop calling me Molly. S sorry We're not seven anymore. We're almost in middle school. And I can't have pets like you holding me back. M Molly, uh, p please don't leave me. I I'm sorry. Molly, uh... <sighs> No, she'll never figure it out.
Oh, I thought this was my spot. Sorry, I, I can go. No, no, I don't- I don't mind the company. Do you... No. Okay. You're Molly, right? Malia, actually. Oh, well, I'm Jaden, or J, if you'd prefer less letters. Why do you sit over here? Oh, uh, most of the kids in my class don't really like me very much. They think I'm a little too girly. That's not your fault. They're all just projecting their insecurities onto you. Probably because they don't get enough love from their parents. That's kind of sad. Yeah, it is. Well, if you ever need somewhere to hang out again during recess, you can always sit with me. Okay. And then I never came back. Nope. Jesus, I... I suck. It's not your fault. It's not like you promised you'd come back or anything. Still, I knew- It's okay. This is about you, not me. No, this just proves my point even more. I'm a terrible friend, and I always have been. All because I've been way too focused on my status. Well, I mean, that's just a typical mean girl cliche, though. Jay, how do I be a better friend? Um, why are you asking me? I don't exactly have a lot that's of- It's because you're a gay guy in a homophobic high school. Why do you think I'm closeted? Okay, miss suddenly so sure of her sexuality. Well, you already figured out, so- Now, friendship advice. Malia, you're only a bad friend because you never tell pets how you're truly feeling. Avery? How long were you standing there? Not long, but frankly it kind of hurts that you'd rather go to a guy that you barely know to get friendship advice instead of your own best friend. You know, I'm just gonna let you two sort this out in peace. No, Jay... What are you, jealous or something? Honestly? Kind of. What does he have that I don't? Why do you choose to open up to him and not me? You're acting like I told him all of my deepest secrets. Did you? Because I sure as hell wouldn't know. Of course not. We just talked about some stuff. Y you wouldn't get it. Then help me understand, Malia. I'm so worried about you. <sighs> Fine. I won't pry, but if you ever do need to talk, I'm always here, and I always will be. Avery, wait, I'm pansexual. God, all the secretive behavior? For that? Yeah? Oh, come here, you big dummy. You know I love you, no matter what. I know, I know, I just, I never knew how to tell you. Well, at least now I know why. Wait! You like her, don't you? Christ, Avery, don't say that so loud. Oops, sorry, but not exactly. It's complicated. I used to like her a lot, but at that point I didn't really understand what my feelings for her truly were, so I just left her. I thought what I felt for her was wrong, and... I wanted to leave her before she left me. But then why be her rival if you no longer had feelings for her? Regret? I guess. And spite. I hated seeing her so loved and happy without me. But at the same time, I always thought it was for the best. Was it, though? I don't know. But now I have the chance to be friends with her again, and... And I already feel like I'm screwing it up. I won't lie. What you said was pretty bad, but you at least apologized, right? About that... Malia! Look, look, I have a plan. You're just making it worse. Trust me, please. <sighs> Fine. Hey, where's Avery? Oh, she had to cancel, so it's just us. Oh, uh, cool. Look, Elsa, I'm sorry about what I said. I should have thought about how it might affect you, and- Malia, I wasn't upset at what you said. It's that you were right. Brandon didn't care about me, and I should have seen that from how he treated you. Still, I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Now, I think it's time for a little bit of retail therapy. Oh, you know it. I can't tell if this one's cute or not.
Then come out and let me see. Okay. So, what do you think? Hmm. This is just what you need. Wow, it matches the outfit perfectly. You look really pretty. Thanks, but now it's your turn. Wait, what? Don't worry, I'll pick you out something really cute. Um, this isn't really my style. That's the whole point. Okay. Dang, you look hot. I, I, excuse me, but I, I think the black blends in too much with my fur. Fine, then let me try it on. Um, on second thought, maybe I'll buy it. We should totally wear our new outfits to school on Monday. I don't know. Oh, come on. When was the last time you changed up your style a little bit? Plus, imagine the look on Avery's face when she sees you. Okay, I'm sold. Where is she? Hope she didn't skip without me. <gasps> OMG! Wait, are they like friends now? What is- Oh. My. God! You at least could have warned me you were gonna try and steal my style before you made the whole school's jaws drop. See, I told you he looked awesome. Oh, Josh, you're the real showstopper. Remember when you two hated each other? But now, all because of me, you two are friends again. No need to thank me. I never- Details, details. Modest as ever? Whatever. I hope you two bought more than just that, though. Why? Don't you remember? Ellie's hosting a really big party this weekend. Oh, right. I don't really want to go to that. But you have to. This is your chance to show Ellie that you're happier without her. I know, but I don't even really like parties to begin with, and since Ellie's hosting it, I just- At least think about it. We'd make sure you'd have a lot of fun. Oh, for sure. Okay, I'll think about it. They're not that hot. You're right, they're smoking. Hey, you're my boyfriend. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. <sighs> you're such a scumbag. Elsa, why aren't you ready? You're not going, are you? No. Okay, I'm sorry I made you drive all the way over here. It's okay, I wouldn't have offered to drive you if I minded. Why are you still here? Because you seem to be more upset about this party than you originally led us to believe. Am I just that unlovable? What? Where is this coming from? I know a lot of pets like me. Classmates are always really nice to me and they compliment me almost every day. But the people who are supposed to love me... They never stick around. There are a lot of pets who- And I'm lucky to have such a big, loving family, but it's just... It's not the same. It's not you. It's them. Trust me. Ellie's just another insecure girl who's jealous that pets like you more than her and Brandon. Well, he doesn't realize what he's missing, I guess. What about you, then? Elsa, please don't. Why did you leave me, Malia? I... Uh... Oh, it's Avery. Hey, uh, Malia, I really don't know how to say this. What happened? Ellie just posted a video of, um, what? Is it another sex tape? No, no, it's a view. Well, last time I checked, I- It's from when you came out to me, Malia. Everyone knows. W what? Luckily, you didn't mention Elsa by name, but if she sees it, she'll- probably figure out you were talking about her. So, I, I- I have to tell her? No matter what happens, just call and I'm there, okay? Thanks, Avery. I love you. Love you too. That seemed kind of intense. I yeah, um, I, I need to tell you something. What is it? Are you okay? N no, honestly, I'm- not at all, but you're gonna find out either way, so I'd rather you hear this from me and not some random video that Ellie secretly recorded. What are you talking about? The 
real reason I left you that day was... I, I liked you, Elsa. I liked you a lot. W what? And... and... I thought... if I left, that... that meant you'd, you'd never figure it out. And... then you... you couldn't... you couldn't leave me first. So... so... you're... I'm pansexual. Oh... I... Get it if you don't want to be friends anymore. No, no, I just... I, I need a second to process everything. Okay, cool. <laughs> Malia, you don't make any sense. I would have never left you over something as silly as a childhood crush. Um, it's not just a childhood crush. Oh, I think I might like you too. What? I always assumed I was straight. Even when my brothers came out, I never even considered that I could be interested in any other pets than boys. But then, when I started hanging out with you again, I felt something. It was different than what I'd felt around any of my other girlfriends, even boyfriends. It could just be that we're childhood friends. That's what I thought at first, too, until when... God, this is so embarrassing. It can't be more embarrassing than my cheesy confession that sounded like it came straight out of a low-budget rom-com. <laughs> well, um... I had a dream that we kissed and it's all I've been thinking about for like the last five days. Oh! I yeah. So... Now what? I don't really know. <sighs> I feel like I just had the biggest weight lifted off my shoulders. Me too, but I didn't even really realize I had one. So... You wanna, wanna watch a movie? Oh, um... You wanna do both? You don't have to ask me twice. Elsa, have you seen my phone? No! <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you wanna watch? Anything you want, as long as it's not cliche. I think it's a little too late for that. 